There's gotta be a faster way to do this. And yes, I know, sorry guys, no introduction or anything. You guys know you guys know the drill of this of this level by now. You guys know how this level goes by now. You already know how this works. Alright, so we gotta go get a pineapple. I'm just not in the mood. I mean, not that I've had a bad day or anything. I'm just not really in the mood for any bull, bull crap, really. But I take a week or I take a couple of days off from this game, and I can't believe I've all, and I can't believe some bullshittery already happened within the game, and I'm not surprised. My guess is, I, you know what? It may, it may be risky and stupid, but I'm just gonna jump from here. Oh, okay, thank goodness. I was very certain I was going to miss the, miss the platform. Okay, so... Look, I would go for this mushroom... If Yoshi's tongue could actually reach it. What the... nonsense oh my god this I, I went from having fun with this game to just <sighs> straight down misery and pain over the last few over the last few levels and all, all levels up to this point have just you know all the failures over the last several, over the last several failures from all these other games on this game, in this entire playthrough, up to you know the Goopy Inferno, I generally believe that those failures were my fault. But I just feel now, ever since I got to Pianta Village, the game has just just decided to pull out its middle finger and just. Just want to suck all the fun that I have out of this game, man. Like this is just ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. It's just a ridiculous amount of bullshit that I deal with. I just wanted that freaking one up. Oh, why did I do that? Uh, I don't know why I did that. All right, that one was my fault. That one was my fault. See, there are times where, they, where the game lets me hit pause and select, pause and select. There are times the game will let me do it, but then there are times the game won't let me do it. I just think it's bullshit. Look, I reckon, I reckon if I put my mind to it, I could get these myself. If I put my mind to it, I could probably get that one up myself. And then, I can climb my way back up and get Yoshi. There we go. Alright, cool. And now we'll go back up. shouldn't be difficult. That logically shouldn't be difficult. A, sh a stupid wind. A stupid wind, man. Go to hell. Alright, he wanted a pineapple, didn't he? 
pretty sure he wanted a pineapple. Alright, no more playing around. Oh, lovely. It's time to beat this level. <sighs> getting to the getting to the area itself isn't too ta isn't too taxing. It just can be a little annoying with the mushrooms, especially the bouncy green mushroom. It's just a it's just annoying with the bouncy green mushroom. That's really the only bad thing about it. Oh man, the bouncy green mushroom is just. The physics on it is just weird. But overall, getting to the level itself just isn't too bad. It's just when you get to the level, that's just where the game just decides to go F you. And then it's all about... Oh, God. Then it's all about just... Timing. And I hate levels when they- and I hate levels that's all about luck. I'd rather just use my skills to beat the level. Oh man, oh man, and when I do eventually finally beat this, I gotta do this with- I gotta do this with the frickin' red coins. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to the red coin mission on this stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a chuckster, I know, buddy. All right, all right. This, all right. My memory serves me right. This blue guy is fucking a pain. So we want to stay here. And oh my god, really? Oh jeez. Man, man, oh man, these freaking chucks, I swear to god. And that's why I hate this level. Because it's all about knowing where to stand. It's all about knowing where to be at all times. It's all about knowing where you've got to be. Oh, great, I'm dead. Save me, sign! That's what makes this level so annoying. you got to know where to be. That's why I say I hate levels that are all about luck base. Like, to get this one-up. Like, it's the same thing for this one-up. Like, I'm amazed I'm nailing it every time, but still, like... Like, this guy here. Like, all you gotta do is just stand in front of him, and boom. Like, you'd think it'd be the same thing for all the other guys. You'd think it'd be the same thing for all the other guys. Just stand in front of them, and then you're good. But no, it's... I hate it so much. I can see why my idol even didn't like this level... Okay. Okay, this guy's gonna throw us high up. Higher, higher! Oh, okay. Yep, you're a chuckster. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Please! Yes! God! Yes! Finally! Holy moly, we got it. Oh, yes! Oh my god. See, this is what happens when you take breaks. You see what happens when you take breaks within recording? Oh, see what happens when you just go away for a couple of days? See what happens when you go away for a couple of days? Goodness gracious. Alright. We're almost done with Pianta Village. 
The answer's in need. Alright, this one's not too bad. Hopefully all the difficult levels are, uh... Alright, so we've got three minutes to save the piantas that are in need. And obviously you will die. And obviously if you fail to do this, you will die. I don't know why I should be, I should be killed. I mean, I guess... I mean, I... I mean, I... I mean, I guess I understand why, because I was tasked to save them. But why should I be murdered? Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. I shouldn't be questioning video game logic. Let's just save all these piatas because... <sighs> Even though these... These bastards put me in prison, I gotta save these guys every single time. What? That's, that's another thing. Why should I be saving these people? They were the ones that criticized me. They were the ones that criticized Mario for being the bad guy in the town. Why should I be saving them when they when where they literally were the ones that put me in prison? Okay, where are the rest of them? Stop complaining. One more. And it's over here. As I said, as I said, this is an easy level. As I said, easy stage. Not too bad. Okay, dude, you can quit running back and forth now. I saved all your saved all of your friends. But before I come back and check in on you, I'm going to take my blue point. Thank you. Hey buddy, quit running. You're the saviour of Pianta Village. Saviour? Yeah, go tell that to the bloody... Yeah, I'm a saviour. Well, go tell that to the bloody um, higher-ups that put me in jail. the last this should be the last stage before um, Corona Mountain becomes available I think this is the last level we got to do and then Corona Mountain will finally become available and then we can finally finally wrap this game up Yeah, 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 you'll remember this. Yada, yada, yada. Same old dipshitty dialogue. Of course I missed it. Of course I did. Ah, okay. Yep, and here we go. And now Corona Mountain is now available. Yep, as I was right, you had to beat all. As I was, as I was correct. Oh my God! And now the entire city has been. Oh, oh my God! The entire city has just been flooded. The entire city has just been flooded.
<laughs> this guy is just this guy is having a good old time. Well, that guy's having a grandio time. So is that guy. Dude, your, your entire city is being flooded. Why are you guys dancing? Alright, so for this to, so, so for this flood to go away, you have to enter Corona Mountain, and then you're just going to have to leave it again. That's kind of how you get rid of the flood. Hey guys, can I still get my blue coins? No? Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll come back to you guys later then. Because I have enough blue coins to get a few more shines. Alright, so yeah, to get rid of this, yeah, to get rid of this, you have to uh, go into Corona Mountain. Mountain's flooded, how Yes, Toad, it's very, yes, Toad, it's very obvious the town has flooded. Okay, so let's, so let's get, so let's get to it then. Oh my, why did you do that, Mario? I was just trying to talk to, to Oldsworth over here. You are useless. You are useless, Toadsworth. All right, let's let's get up to the top of the tower and let's and let's finish this once and for all. This could very well be the final episode of this entire series. Oh, I can't. All right, I can't break that without um Yoshi. Yeah, that's why I didn't bother trying to go down there myself, if any of you were suggesting that. Because you can't. You have to have Yoshi do that. What? What the? Man, what is with this game's physics? Jesus. Okay. Alright. Well, this is it, guys. We're about to be finishing off this game. Okay. Honestly, I can't tell you guys how happy I am to finally almost have this game complete. I just can't tell you guys enough how much I have been dying to finish this game up. Not because I hate it or anything. It's just that I'm, that I'm just ready to move on from this series. I've just been wanting to move on from this series for for quite a while. You know, I wanted to finish up my Scarlet playthrough. There's just other play. There's just other playthroughs I want to finish up. Hell, I might even want to get back into my Mario Galaxy playthrough that I kind of recently started and then just kind of stopped doing. Maybe even, maybe even eventually start Super Mario 64, but you know, I kind of want to take a break from Super Mario for a while. <sighs> can't believe this, can't believe this is almost over. And now we're at the most annoying part of this level. This boat. This annoying boat is by far the most annoying thing about Corona Mountain. This singular boat is what really causes this level to really go into the shitter. Because you have to control this boat by squirting water and you've got to make sure that you do not crash it. Oh man. 
and yeah, the, the physics aren't exactly any, and the physics aren't exactly any great either. The physics aren't exactly great either. Oh, oh no! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Please! Don't! Oh, great. You see, this boat is annoying, and I've accepted my fate. Yeah, that what that's what makes this whole stage annoying. This singular boat area is the er, is the is the real stress of this entire level. That's the entire stress of this entire level. This. STUPID BOAT that you have to control. Now, it was bad enough when I had a crappy controller that was really terrible with my, with my control, with my commands. But even with a functionally working controller, you can still see I was having issues. Because the... because I guess they don't expect you to... Ooh. I guess they just don't expect you to do it fast. Look, I, I'm, I'm just oh, fine with just finishing the game now. I don't really care about... anything else right now. I just want to get this game all done. Turn, 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 turn the other way. And no, 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 no it just doesn't respond to your commands. It just doesn't respond to your commands, and it's just bad. This is a definite personal complaint that I think people have the right to make. Why would you create a level like this? Like, this is what I've been saying. Whoa, what the... What the heck hit me? It might have been that bullet bill thing. But I swear I saw the flames that I that I got rid of came back. Oh! Well, my jumping is terrible. But do you want to know what's the good thing about this level? We've got one-ups. We've got one-ups. So, we don't have to worry about ever getting a game over. Ever. We don't have to ever worry, worry about getting a game over. They knew. The developers knew. This was going to be a pain, so they just sprouted one-ups all over the place for the player. But again, but again, I asked this question: Why would they develop something like this? Like, yes, I know there is a boat in Nolki Bay. There's a boat in Nolki Bay very similar to this boat, and I've always been told. That the boat, that shooting the boat forward like this is going to cause it to go back, and as you guys, and as you guys have seen so many times, shooting it this way makes it go forward. Shooting it this way makes it go right, and shooting it this way makes it go left. So you should understand how the controls work. The problem is, there's a time, 
problem is, time after time, they just don't work. And sometimes the boat will just do that. And sometimes the boat will just do that. Where, like, even if you are aiming it directly forward, it'll just randomly turn. That's what else that makes this whole thing even annoying. <sighs> and if you're 100% completionist, and if you want all the blue coins, which... Really? They normally drop by now. That okay, that was bull. But anyway, like if you're a hundred percent completionist and want to get all the blue coins, you have to utilize that boat. You, you have to utilize that boat because the rest of the blue coins are on the boat segment. Which obviously I as you guys have obviously noticed, I've been collecting a lot of the blue coins. I've only been collecting them as like a side as like a side mission. You know, not for 100%, but I've just been more collecting them on the side. Just as like an extra challenge. But there, but you, but there is no way in hell I am collecting those blue coins that are on the boat, that are on the boat segment. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this boat segment mission. It's not... Oh my god. Come on. Turn... Turn right. Turn right. Thank you. Turn right. Thank you. Thank you, boat. Thank you. You've got to have it in a complete stop for it to bloody listen. Turn. Turn right. Turn right. Thank you. All right. We're almost. We're almost there now. Turn, turn right. Turn right. A little bit more to the right! Come on! I said turn right! Oh, this boat! Come on! This stupid boat! Come on! Oh, why is it so... Mm. Oh. Even when it looks like I finally have it under control... Something has to call something has to happen. Oh god. Rip okay, I okay, I call shenanigans on that. Yeah, sometimes that'll happen too. Sometimes Yeah, sometimes that'll happen too, apparently. Even when you put flood directly on the flames for some stupid reason, it doesn't want to destroy it for some reason. That can be a little bit more of an extra annoyance. There are so many annoying things about this about this level. The spikes won't fall at the right time when you expect them to. Sometimes the flames won't go out when you definitely flood when you definitely put flood on, on, on top of it. Yeah. And also you've got the annoying boats. Yeah. So much wrong at this level. And just imagine trying to do this part with a with a with a, with a really terrible controller. Trust me. Try doing this with a controller. That makes you go this way all the time and it just doesn't respond to your commands. 
This part was hell on earth for me when I did this originally. Slow, slow, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. No, no, don't go that way. Don't go that way. No, no. Bad boat. Bad boat. Bad boat. Bad boat. This is not the direction we're going. Oh, come on. Listen to me, you stupid boat. We're going this way. We're going this way. This is the direction we need to go. Come on. Listen to me. Listen to me. You see? This is where all the blue coins are. They expect you to take this entire boat around the entire level. You know what I say to that? You know what I say to that? Screw that noise! No! <sighs> of course that would happen to me. Of course that would happen to me. All of all the bullshit things that happen to me in this game, of course, that would happen. The right time where I needed to jump off, where I finally got up to, when I finally got to the end, the game then just doesn't rest, register my jump button. Even though I jumped when I got the blue coin. <sighs> I love this game. Oh, I really do. This game should really be renamed into Super Mario Bullshit. do all of this for entertainment. The final video of this entire series is finally here. And this is what I'm putting you through. I'm probably just going to take a break. Mario afterwards, even though I am playing 3D World right now. But after when I'm done 3D World, I think I'm just going to take a break from Mario games for a while. And just go back to finishing uh, Scarlet. Because, oh my god, I am so... No, don't do that. So, oh my god, sometimes I'm just... So done. Come on, why are you not? Oh, come on! Ugh, you know what? I'm just gonna see you guys when I get there. I can't take this anymore. I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay. Why are you... I swear, this boat... No! This is not where I want you to be taking me! God, I've got... Man, I've got a lot of complaints about this freaking boat. I swear. Why is it not turning? I just don't understand the physics of this boat. Turn me the other way. Thank you. 
And now let's get out of here. Finally. Okay. Well, I'm not getting any of the blue coins. The blue coins can go screw themselves. I am... I am... I am not dealing with this ever. I am not dealing with this anymore. Yes, Flood, I know how your rocket nozzle works, buddy. Now... This is where things can really go horribly wrong. Especially with that crappy ass controller that I have. Oh my god. I could not tell you how nervous I was climbing up these flat these clouds. I am not going for that one up. Just I love my one-ups more than the next guy, but I am not going for that! No! Oh, thank god. Oh, I swear if I fall! I swear if I fall, man, I am going to lose it. I'm going to lose it if I fall! Oh, god. Okay. We're free. Oh, man. Bowser talking? That is so bizarre. Bowser never talks. Alright, let's go. Alright, finally, we're at the final boss. Alright, to beat this, we gotta <clears throat> do that! And also, not fall to our bloody death. Oh, how dare you. Oh, you are a naughty boy! Whoa, 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 what the heck happened there? So sorry. What just happened there? Did I just glitch through the floor? Did I just seriously glitch through the floor? Is that what just happened? Is that what just happened? I glitched through the floor. Is that what happened? That <laughs> was bull. I actually fell. Okay, well, of course I fail on this boss. Of course I fail on this boss. This boss isn't. Too, this boss isn't hard. Of course, I've got to find ways to fail on everything these days. I've got to find ways to fail on everything these days. Hey! launch myself up so that I don't fall to my death again. Oh man! Oh okay, I just saved myself there. And Bowser, you are done! Super Mario Sunshine is finally over!
Oh yeah, we grew attached to flood. Bowser speaking is the most bizarre thing ever. Because he never really speaks. Sure, he speaks in a lot of the other games, but, you know. One of the only games I've ever seen him speak. Ah, Flood's alive again, of course. Gotta have, gotta have a happy ending. Okay, so we are finally done. With Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, I cannot tell you. I cannot tell you how actually thrilled I am to finally have this game done. I have been wanting to just finish this game again with an actual playthrough for a long time. Because the sour taste of my full playthrough last time, it just, it just left a sour taste in my mouth. And as I was slowly posting those episodes, it just made me realize to myself, people are not going to enjoy it. People are not going to enjoy it because all they're just seeing is my character, it's just me just, just falling to my pit all the damn time because of my controller being broken. That's why I just decided to give up on the playthrough and then just do, decide to do another one with an actual working controller. So I can't tell you how thrilled I am to finally have this game done and finally have an actual playthrough on this channel for people to watch. Sure, it's not my finest, sure, it's not my finest playthroughs, and yes, it's possibly the most rage I have, I have had in quite some time. But you've always, but you've got to have some rage in there sometimes. That's that, that, and that's the thing. You've got to have some rage in there every now and then. You've got to have some rage-inducing moments. And uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. You, you can't play again. Like, what's the point in playing a game if there's, if there's, if there's no frustrating moments? Alright! That is the end of Super Mario Sunshine, guys. Thank you all so much for being very patient with me. For finally getting this full playthrough complete. I really appreciate your patience. And I also appreciate all of you sitting through all the cringy ragey moments throughout this entire game. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much, and you'll never see this, you will never see this game again, and I'll never have to play this game again, because now that I've got my actual playthrough out, now that I've got my actual playthrough out, I can feel happy to have this all done. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all on the other side.